Okay. Hey, we're back at it again. I had a beautiful video recorded this morning. It was awesome. It went to some places we really needed to be going, and I'm hoping I can duplicate that effort here now because uh, I lost it. <laughs> it just went away there in the land of computerese. It took a took a hike, a dive, and and oh man, there's going to be trouble because of it. Cause we can say it again. We can do it again. And perhaps it'll be even better the second time. And gee, can't have that now, can we? <laughs> it's all right. These machines are glitchy, and I don't use the most expensive software. So I guess you got to expect some pile-ups here and there. So we're fortunate to have what we do have. And be able to do what we do do here. It's awesome. So kids, I just want you to know we love you. We appreciate you. And we're always thinking of you. All of you. Even when we take you to task for something. We're still not unloving you. I mean, we're loving you. Always, you know. When I say we, I mean this old grandpa. And... All of the beings that are with us this day, which is quite a, a, a big old number. I, you can't put numbers on it. But every time we speak with you, a lot of that energy comes flowing through. And that's what this is all about. It's the sharing of the love, the wealth, the energy that the universe has to create for you. Because you've created so much for us and others too. No matter who you are, you've lived a lifetime in pain of one sort or another. Money couldn't buy you love, nor happiness, nor a release from the pain. It's just there. Well, it's the Mother Earth's pain, too. It's one that we all feel. Some have grown numb to it and don't even know they're feeling it. But it's been there. But we're doing some different things with it now. You see, Mother has chosen this time to make her transition into truth. Help us come from this land of division where we see ourselves as separate and divided from most life, which we ain't. But we feel it. And inside of us is those darker angels. The ones that have chosen to be evil, as they call it. And we feel that too. It's the greatest emptiness ever known. It's a hollow, empty feeling that can never be filled. So it just wants to destroy and control and maim and belittle. It's angry because it hurts so much. But these are beings. Truthfully, they are angels that have chosen to experience this realm of darkness and cause us to experience this, it right along with them. And try to subject us to its rules. And control all life through some core of kind of fear, dark feelings. Rules and regulations that mean nothing. Except when they're facing you in the courtroom with their little piece of paper saying, Hey, you got to do this because you didn't do that. And so on. You know what I mean. Life is meant to flow naturally. Doesn't need the rules and regulations we have. But you see, these have come from that dark and empty place where you feel unregulated, unliving, kind of. Yet you are life, you are love. And what's inside of you is inside of others too. 
We'll find a new direction with this. We're going to have to let go of a lot of our preconceived ideas, the judgments we've made on these beings within ourselves and extended into the world around us, coming down on hard with these rules and rules of warfare and engagement and things like that. But the war it represents is the war inside of yourself. And we've come here to help you practice truth, to awaken, so that you no longer feel compelled into this warfare. You can find peace inside of yourself and be who you are and trust that person, someone you've never trusted before. You push them. You reward them, you applaud them, you punish them. But you're constantly judging this person that you are, let alone those in the field around you. And you don't even know it most of the time. It's part of the life we live here. It's taught to us from the time where before we can even get into a diaper, let alone get out of one. These are the rules of engagement that we encounter when we come here. And we learn to be real phony and not real with ourselves and to put our real self away because there's danger here. Innocence is not welcome. We're wise here in the ways of the world. And cruelty is practiced everywhere. The pain is shared greatly. <laughs> That's what we hear when we come here, man. It's it's a farce. It's a it's a laugh, all right. It's, but you know, understand, we do this because we love doing it. We go through this because there's sheer joy in being able to experience that much emptiness and all the difficulty that goes with it. Knowing inside of yourself that you're something really spectacular. But always feeling like you've been left out. That you need to grab more of something to make yourself feel better. And it takes a lot of different somethings out there. Sometimes sometimes it's everything. You just want to eat it all. <laughs> you feel so dad blamed empty. But realize the value of that emptiness. Because this is one of the few places you can experience it. It doesn't exist anywhere else, in any other time or place. And right here, right now. And truthfully, it doesn't exist here. It's just something we chose to experience. So we make it real. And then we try to understand it. Comprehend this thing that is so overwhelming as left the entirety of humanity in shock for thousands of centuries now. So we ain't been ourselves for a long time. And it's amazing that here in 2012 we can finally get on with it. Find our heart. And this is the gateway, the doorway that's opening. To see beyond our preconceived notions, that which has been programmed into us from the time we were tiny babies in every lifetime. And we have lived many of them. Don't fool yourself. Don't kid yourself. <laughs> you go around once, you go around plenty. Some are lucky enough, but not blessed. Just to do a few, but most of us have done many. And we're in service to ourselves as well as humanity. The experience, as I say, is very valuable and we're coming to see and appreciate that side of life that we've never seen before we've heard prattlers talk about it you know we might have experienced a glimpse here and there magic moments that they are but we ain't lived it and now we're going to get on that tall horse and we're going to ride through some pretty spectacular country as we begin to remember who we are and just what it's all about this being here with this Mother Earth 
this loving mother who never ever lets us go always holds us in her heart no matter how much we've punished her or how hard we've tried to escape her she is our love our truth our one desire is to be real with her and we carry her pain her trauma yeah she's a living person of course everything that lives is remember now you got to look beyond preconceived notions and this includes the notion of death which we're bringing back to life you see everything this little desktop this little chair the trees the rocks the squirrels rabbits the snow the sun the skies all of this is living conscious life now what we're going to do as we begin remembering we become conscious of that life in everything and how it's chosen to form and create itself as it is just as we have for the experience of it to know the feeling of a stone sitting immovable on a mountainside for a million years just to come tumbling down and experience the reality of that fall that's silicate based life and because it's different than us we think it's dead and we can just poke it, chop it, explode it do what we want with it turn it into cars and trucks and you know pollute the atmosphere have a great time doing it <laughs> this is all illusion this is not our reality this is something we've been led into long ago and in fact a lot of what we see around us is so much pollution and stuff it is a part of our awakening it's one of those steps that's taken us there we've gone through thousands of steps since the time we became tiny and took on the density of this human form and chose to live here on earth as something like what we are now that was a long time ago and it was a shock when we separated from our family back then and became these human beings that we are and unconscious to the world around us the flying beings the family now beyond us you know God what a heartbreak but what a beautiful thing to be to experience to know that you can go through heartbreak the greatest of disappointments sometimes are the grandest of experience it's tough to view it like that when it's happening to you but shortly thereafter you can get it and now as we arise to this point of appreciation of all experience and begin to see our happiness in it then we know what it's like to come back to life and experience ourselves in communion with all things that live and there is no grander form of being or better way it just is that's the love that we are and we've come here now 2012 to reform our understanding of it the last of this long set of steps it's gone on throughout what we call history the linear time it's been leading us up to here each one of those a little step up there and I'm telling you in these last 150 200 years have been incredible great leaps in the three dimensions so that we could open 
to the 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th and, you know, get on with it. So that we could remember we are multidimensional beings. There is no real division between any form of life. We like what we are. We are one within that. And that is all that is as well, because it's all here with us. The walls have ears and the windows have eyes because they live. And the little birdies in the trees, indeed, oftentimes these are angels watching over you. For real. And you can feel it and you can see it. If you just open your eyes. And then you're going to see the family beyond that. See, this is the gateway. This is the opening as we've chosen to understand and see it. And as you do, you open and start to see beyond the limitations. Let them go. Don't be afraid. Freedom is a beautiful thing. To be unlimited. To know. Anyway, take a look. Keep looking. And what you will see will astound you. Because what you live and what does surround you is amazing. we got family here that's never really been separated from us. We just thought they were. They thought they were from us. <laughs> and as you open your eyes, you begin to see and know that family that some of us have chosen to call ETs and so forth. Hell. We're all in this together. We're all at the same stage of our experience. No matter what level we're on, you know, in conscious terms. We're making the same steps together. And that's why we're here doing it. And there are beyond billions and trillions of beings here in assistance to us. The numbers are completely uncountable. Try to number the stars in the sky. And figure one beam per each one of those. Wow. Well, that's what's assembled here. Something far larger than that. And has been for quite some time now. Because it's time for this transition into truth, to living truthfully, to being the truth that we are. And old Grandpa is just here. Help prod you along a little bit. Get you moving down the trail. Got some real good biscuits and gravy down there at the fire in this morning and some great coffee too, man. The kind of grit that sticks in your teeth. <laughs> yeah, we're being metaphorical. But there it comes. And I know we hear a lot of stories about divisions. Some folks just ain't going to get it. And they're going to discorporate. Whatever. These are ideas and concepts based on the concept of division. And when you realize the reality of oneness, the sheer joy of being in all that lives, even those that have been the darkest of beings, then you understand there ain't no leaving anybody behind. We're all in this together. We're at the same stage. Those that seem so far advanced from us, they have so much technology that they could share Hell, we helped him in it. Sit. We're all in this together. It's There's nothing here that's to be denied to anyone. You deserve everything. The best. Oh. Because that's who you are. Understanding this takes a bit of coming together inside of yourself. So find that peaceful presence. And be who you are. And you will begin to understand and see what's been held from you for a long time.
Now we hear rumors. Yeah. That is an amazing moment of awakening. To see the truth of what seems so long to be removed from us. Taken away like we didn't deserve it. Ah. But as you come to see the beauty and the wonder of it all, the pain will be as nothing. And time will stand still after a little bit of deep slumber. And you will experience that one moment where you know it all. You live every bit of it. Personally, through all your lives. Collectively, through all lives lived. Beauty and wonder are weak words to describe something it's indescribable. We are beauty. We are truth. We are what the land calls for. Noble beings who appreciate and love and respect all that lives. And there is no more war in that life that's complete peace. That's the knowing of the one love in all. And that is the gateway for opening and going through on this magical day in this moment of truth. God, we does love you, kiddos. Be sure and come and visit us sometime in Crestone, Colorado. We may have something even better than a God's donut here for you. Who knows? But just hang on to your jeans, because this ride is not going to be rough. It's going to be spectacular. We're making it easy on ourselves. We're telling the universe, help us make this easy for everyone. Just let it slip on in. There are births without pain and trauma that are completely joyful in every moment of their stretching and sliding and getting into it, you know? It's an orgasmic moment. Far beyond anything we know in that area. Truth is a beautiful and spectacular thing. So let's just let ourselves slide on into it, shall we? Take it easy. And I'll try to do the same. You know, I'm a fiery old fart when I get going. <laughs> Let's try and make it smooth, babies. It doesn't have to be rough as all is this. Just tell yourself, I accept, I be, I am, and I will. And I don't want to make it rough on any, anybody, least of all myself. Been rough enough already. Rodeo's over, folks, and guess what? Those cows and horses we were just riding, it was so wild and crazy. They're tame. It's an old sheep now. I mean, we're all in this together. And we've all served our roles and we love doing it. Some love being the bunkin' bronco. <laughs> and the raging bull. And some love being the writer and some love being the spectator. 
We're all in our natural place of being, doing what's given us to do in the moment we're doing it. And in that sense, there are no real mistakes. It's a process of awakening. Some would call it learning and growing, but it's awakening, remembering. Because a long time ago we chose to forget and got ourselves stuck in this loop of life and death. <laughs> Cycling around and around. Oh, man. All the diapers we've dirtied. Hmm. But there isn't anybody that hasn't. So don't go feeling you're more spectacular or less deserving than anyone else. We've all done that. Many times over. And now, hey, we get our reward. Throw ourselves a little party. <laughs> a little cast party, I say. <laughs> Oh, God, we love you guys. Take care. And old Grandpa will see you again real soon, perhaps on the other side of the moon. <laughs> love you. Take care, babies. Oh, you're so wonderful. Hmm.